A final climate change myth that we can look at is the one that argues that even if climate change is happening, it's not due to humans. This is again quite a popular myth. Let's look at an article published in the Houston Chronicle in 2010 entitled Climate Gate, You Should Be Steamed, written by Neil Frank. In that article, Frank writes in a rather polemical style. What do the skeptics believe? First, they concur with the believers that the earth has been warming since the end of a little ice age around 1850. The cause of this warming is the question. Believers think the warming is man-made, while the skeptics believe the warming is natural and contribution from man are minimal and certainly not potentially catastrophic a la Al Gore. Let's apply the crap test. On currency, we are faced with the issue that the article is a little dated, but it reveals similar claims to those one could read in articles that have been written more recently. With regard to relevance, the article discusses climate change in light of the hacking of emails from the Hadley Center's Climate Research Unit, the eponymous Climate Gate. This controversy has been thoroughly debunked, but at the time of the article the debate was still raging. The relevance of the article rests on what I am re researching. If it was whether climate change is human cause, then the article lacks depth. But if I was concerned about what scientists had said in the hacked emails, then this article would certainly be relevant. Turning to authority, the article is written by Neil Frank, who has a PhD in meteorology from Florida State University and was the director of the US National Hurricane Center. So the author certainly has the authority to pass comment. As to accuracy though, the science says that global warming is human caused because it has our fingerprints all over it. Ultimately, Proving that global warming is due to humans is about establishing causation. This is never an easy thing, but with regard to climate change there are a number of lines of evidence that together are convincing that global warming can be attributed to human-induced emissions of greenhouse gases. And what about purpose? The polemical style of the article is revealing. It calls the climate scientists that are identifying the dangers of climate change as being alarmists. It argues that the emails reveal a conspiracy between US and UK climate scientists to adjust the data, to make it look as if global warming is real. This language is a red flag. The article fails the crap test on currency, accuracy and purpose. This article comes across as more of an ad hominem attack on climate scientists than as a reasoned argument that global warming is natural. Before moving on though, I want to briefly discuss the human fingerprints that identify global warming as human caused. This figure identifies 10 human fingerprints on climate change. There are four pieces of evidence that humans are raising CO2 levels. First, we know that humans are currently emitting some 30 billion tonnes of CO2 into the atmosphere each year. Second, oxygen levels are falling as if carbon is being burnt to form carbon dioxide. Third, we know that this carbon is fossil fuels. This is the Seuss effect we discussed in the last lecture. And fourth, corals have also been absorbing this fossil carbon more recently. There are two observations that show that CO2 is absorbing more infrared radiation. First, satellites are measuring less infrared radiation escaping to space at the precise wavelengths at which CO2 absorbs. And second, surface measurements reveal that this radiation is returning to Earth to warm the surface. There were also four observations that show that the observed pattern of warming is consistent with what is predicted to occur during global warming. First, an increased greenhouse effect would make nights warm faster than days, and this is what has been observed. 
Second, if the warming was due to solar activity, then the stratosphere should warm along with the rest of the atmosphere. But if the warming is due to the greenhouse effect, the stratosphere should cool because of the infrared radiation being trapped in the troposphere. Satellite measurements show that the stratosphere is cooling. Third, this combination of a warming troposphere and cooling stratosphere should cause the tropopause, which separates them, to rise. This has also been observed. And finally, it was predicted that the ionosphere would shrink, and it is indeed shrinking. The attribution of climate change to human activity is not based solely on computer modelling. The series of empirical measurements we have just discussed point to the conclusion that humans are causing the planet to warm. Thanks for listening.